Hi Facebook, how are you today? I haven't gone live in a few weeks or maybe it's been a couple months since I shared that story about my grandma but um, I thought I would share something that was on my heart. So I have been a life coach since 2019. Um, some of you know, some of you don't. I help ambitious women unlock their dreams and create momentum towards their goal help them get unstuck and unleash their potential. And um, in that process, I grow and I learn and I love serving my community. But I wanted to talk about something that um, that's kind of new to me that I'm working on. So I was raised to feel like my desires might be in conflict with God or that maybe my desires weren't what was meant for me and i've really been cultivating the belief that what is in my heart is from god and that my desires um that he's the source of my desires and not only that but that he will back me up in creating them and moving the pieces around in my favor and um allowing myself to do that has opened a world of possibilities because for the longest time i never even allowed myself to dream big or to to allow myself to really want the things i really really wanted right like um uh different goals like entrepreneurship right or um right now i'm working on um manifesting my dream home or uh, just a wonderful relationship in my marriage or my children different things like that that i thought were too big were so big were out of my reach i'm now realizing that allowing myself to own those desires and um allow myself to want them right because for so long um i expected life to disappoint me I expected to be disappointed by life. I expected that things were going to be difficult. And so when I started allowing myself to want something, then I realized that that's the first step. So owning it. Yes, I want this next thing. I don't know how I'm going to get it. I don't know how it's going to work out. I don't know when and how or if the money's going to come or if it's going to come a different way. But I want it and I'm just going to allow myself to want it and let that be okay. And so if you're someone who feels like your life has been so disappointing that you haven't even allowed yourself to want something, let this be your cue to own your desire. What is it that you really want? like actually really want even if it feels like it's outside of reach today just let yourself actually really want it and know that it's meant for you know that god and the universe and all the forces of nature are on your side and are going to help you create this goal and this vision that you have for your life and that it's not coming out of nowhere it's not coming from you it's actually sourced from god from the 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 most ultimate strongest uh um, right, because we all believe differently about what God is and what that means. But if there's an intelligence that knows what's meant for you more than you, right, and it's sourced from that, and so it's meant for you, and you can have that. So what is your desire that you don't allow yourself to even want, or that you don't allow yourself to even think is possible because it's so big? So today, I just want you to do that. Just allow yourself to want it, own it. Yes, I want that dream house, even though I don't think I can afford it. There's a way for me to have it. There's a perfect house somewhere in a neighborhood, the way I want it, with the neighbors, the way I want it, in my price range today. It's out there, it exists, because if it's in my heart, then that means it's real, right? And so that's the first go. And if you are an ambitious woman who thinks that you're stuck and you don't see a way out, you don't see how you can even start to dream again, I'm going to put my link below so you can book a consultation with me and see if it's a good fit for us to work together. I love you. Thanks for watching my video. Bye.